Hey, what's going on, Buckeye Extra blog page viewers? I am back again with another edition of the Thursday Three in a, you can maybe put a little strike through through the Thursday Three, since this is actually dropping on a Friday. I'll do an additional thing to rank, to list, and we'll just call it the Friday Four for just today, even though it's really the Thursday Three. You got ideas? You want to jump in on this conversation I'm about to get into? The Twitter handle, at TimHall971. So throw them this way if you've got an idea for something for me to do in an upcoming week. So I'm looking at the weather out there today. It's beautiful. It's spring. Summer's right around the corner. Baseball's gearing up. That's all well and good. Major League Baseball, that's great. But what do we really grow up with? Yeah, you always jump onto a Major League team, but chances are you lived closer to your local minor league park. And to me... There's just nothing better, there's nothing cooler than the nicknames that minor league teams have. There's nothing like, I mean, nothing, nothing ticks me off more than when a parent organization makes a minor league team just take their name. Happened to my childhood team. It was the Prince William Cannons. Then they changed the name Prince William. It was in Northern Virginia. They were about five minutes from my house. Grew up going to those games. They made them become the Potomac Cannons for a while. Why change from Prince William to Potomac? Why do that? Uh, who cares? And then once the Nationals came in, they ripped away the Cannons name that had been there for 20 years and just made him become the Nationals, just like the Major League team. What's the fun in that? I mean, you've got the Indianapolis Indians that do that. There's several ones that do it. Lame. Have a cool nickname. So I'm doing the four best nicknames in minor league baseball. God, there's so many. I was just pouring through them today. There's so many that you can't even throw in there. I mean, I'm thinking the Durham Bulls epic from the movie. Uh, the Canapolis Intimidators is real, like Dale Earnhardt, NASCAR, North Carolina, Asheville Tourists. I think that's where Crash Davis in the movie Bull Durham finished up his career to hit that last dinger, remember? Hickory Crawdads, Augusta Green Jackets. Listen to some of those names. Uh, the Carolina Mudcats, that's fantastic. The Toledo Mudhens, the Louisville Bats, Ogden Raptors. Just great names all over the place. But to start, let's go with the... Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Fantastic, right? The pigs, the Iron Pigs. And just so you all know, it's still the same amazing special effects, printout sheets that you may or may not be able to see. But this, this is a hat that just has a strip of bacon on it. Yes, the Iron Pigs actually rolled out some uniforms where they made their players wear hats. I say made. You, you want to wear a hat like that. A hat that just has a strip of bacon on it. That's the logo. That's the alternate uniform. That's amazing. They're actually in the same league as the Columbus Clippers. They're in the International League. They've been around since 93. They moved to Allentown in 2007, and they are the Iron Pigs, and that's just absolutely outstanding, One in part because of the logo that they give. Number three, the Lansing Lugnuts. If you can see that, Lansing Lugnuts with a little bolt there coming down. That's cool. They're an affiliate of the Blue Jays. The Iron Pigs, by the way, are the Phillies. That makes sense. They're in Pennsylvania. The Blue Jays affiliate there in Michigan. Been around for a long time. The franchise since 1955. They moved to Lansing in 96 and grabbed that great name. They're single A in the Midwest League. But how cool is that? Because the nickname has to do with the area. It's Michigan. It's cars. It's the automobile industry. You've got Ford and GM up there. Lug nuts, a car part. Screwing in that tire, you know, that's fantastic. That's great. Also, I applied for a job when I was a young pup coming out of college, and I went to the baseball winter meetings down in Florida. Had a few interviews, and they said no thank you. So I didn't get to do any play-by-play -play for the Lansing Lugnuts, but I'll always remember that. Albuquerque Isotopes, number two. Is that awesome? Yes, you, you may have wondered it in the past, but yes, the famous Simpsons episode, the softball episode... That, or it wasn't the softball episode, it was another Simpsons episode where Homer talked about going on a hunger strike and moving to Albuquerque. So Albuquerque caught on to that, named their minor league team the Isotopes when they moved into town in 2003. They've even got statues of the Simpsons at the ballpark. They noticed the uh, merchandise just picked up. They were selling like hotcakes when they changed the name there. They sold more merchandise in the year before they even started playing than their previous team had ever sold in any season combined. So, outstanding, unique. And number one, let's go with the Montgomery Biscuits. Again, 
regional, the area, you're in the south, you're in Alabama, biscuits and gravy. I mean, it's kind of like the movie Sling Blade, where Billy Bob Thornton, he, all he can get his hands on is a biscuit. Mm -hmm. I reckon I ate that biscuit. Mm -hmm. Montgomery Biscuits, number one nickname for me in minor league baseball. It's very hard to do. Uh, I'm sure there's a million I can think of after I do this that will be just as cool as these four. But bottom line, really the logo. I mean, the logo, for God's sakes. They've got like an actual real-life pig that they call Miss Gravy there. And this logo, you can get a hat where it's just this. A biscuit with eyes, with googly eyes. And for his tongue, it's like a spot of butter right there. That's amazing. That's awesome. The biscuits, they're with the Rays. They're in the Southern League, double-A ball. They're my number one. That's just absolutely awesome. There's your Thursday three, er, Friday four for this week. We'll talk later, guys. Thanks for watching.